Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make bacaliaro scorvalia, which is basically cod fritters that are going to be served with a garlicky mashed potato dip. It's a dish that's served every year on the 25th of March, but is so delicious that you'll be making it over and over again for your family. Let's go over the ingredients and then we're going to get started. So for the garlicky mashed potato dip, the scordalia, I have some potatoes in here that are going to be cooking in some vegetable stock and some salt, good quality Greek olive oil, some red wine vinegar, lemons, lots of garlic, salt and pepper. Usually this dish is made with salted dried cod. It's very hard for me to find good quality salted dried cod and it might be hard for you to do that too. So you can use fresh cod if you like or frozen. Now I like to quick cure it. The way to quick cure it is you're just going to sprinkle lots and lots of salt on both sides and a little bit of sugar and you're going to leave it aside for about 30 minutes or so. What that's going to do is it's going to concentrate the flavor firm up the fish and then the fish is going to release a lots, of, lots of the excess water. And let's go over the batter ingredients. So I have some all-purpose flour, some cornstarch, baking powder, some salt and some black pepper. We're going to use a little bit of lemon juice and some sparkling water. We're going to begin by making our scordalia, which is our mashed potato garlicky dip. You want to make sure you're going to use some starchy potatoes for this, like some russet potatoes, so that way they don't become gluey. So you're going to just want to put them in a saucepan covered with vegetable stock. Now you can use water if you want, but I think vegetable stock adds so much more flavor. Season it with some salt and cook the potatoes until they're fork tender. While the potatoes, potatoes are cooking, we're going to make the marinade that's going to flavor this. So I'm going to juice some lemons. Always use fresh lemons for this. You can use lemons or uh, red wine vinegar or a combination of both. I'm going to do both because it just really adds depth of flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and juice these lemons. So we need a quarter cup of either lemon juice or red wine vinegar. I'm going to do, like I said, half and half of each to equal a quarter cup. I'm going to go ahead and put it in my mixing bowl just like that. And then I'm going to grate lots of garlic. So this is up to you how much garlic you like. This is traditionally served very garlicky. So I'm going, to I'm going to grate about three to four cloves of garlic. If you want to cut the garlicky taste, the, the sharpness of it, you could go ahead and add uh, some roasted garlic to this instead. It's going to add a really nice sweetness. And then we're going to add about half a cup of really good quality Greek olive oil. And that's it. We're just going to whisk this all up and set it aside. Once the potatoes are done, we're going to put this all together. So once the potatoes are fork tender, you're going to want to take them out and strain them. But reserve that liquid because you're going to use it to thin out the dip. I like to mash the potatoes using this ricer. You can do it by hand using a fork, but I like using this because it just makes the potatoes into such a fine consistency. It turns them into like little bits of rice and then these melt when you mix them. Now we're just going to pour the marinade over the potatoes and we're going to mix this all up. I'm going to put lots and lots of freshly ground black pepper and I'm going to go in and give it a taste to see if it needs more salt. Potatoes always need lots of salt, so always taste before you serve. And now I'm just going to thin it out with the vegetable broth and I'm going to put the vegetable broth into my mixing bowl, the bowl that I mix the marinade in, just so I could catch any leftover marinade in there. It has lots of flavor. And you can make this as thin as you want. Just keep in mind that potatoes absorb the liquid pretty quick. Beautiful. This is the consistency that I like. I'm going to go ahead and give it one more taste. It's perfect. It's garlicky, very bright and fresh. I'm going to set this aside and now we're going to fry our cod. So rinse your codfish in some ice cold water to get the extra salt out. And then it has to be really nice and dry. So put it on some paper towels and pat it until it's completely dry. So that way the batter can stick to it properly. We're just going to whisk together the dry ingredients. And then I'm going to put in some sparkling water. This is going to make the batter nice and light. And one to two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And just whisk it until it's smooth. 
The batter is going to be on the thinner side, but that's how you want it to be. So you have a really nice thin coating. So that's going to get set aside. Now you want to have a plate with some all purpose flour ready to go to dredge the fish. Now you're going to take a piece of fish. I'm going to dredge it in flour and then put it in the batter and then put it in hot oil. It should be around 365 degrees Fahrenheit and flip it over once the first side is nice and golden. And when they're golden on all sides, then that's how you know that they're done. Once the fish is golden all around, go ahead and take it and put it on a tray lined with lots of paper towels to absorb all of the excess oil. So once the codfish is ready, go ahead and put it on the serving tray along with the scordalia. Garnish it, garnish it with some chopped parsley or some just shredded parsley on top and some lemon and then go ahead and serve it. I'm gonna go in and take, give it a taste, dip it in the scordalia. Mmm. You can taste the lemon. The fish is so nice and flaky. Now I went ahead and bought um, the codfish that's sold in my supermarket. And it's already cut into little chunks. They're much more inexpensive than the regular cod that's sold there. So you can just get whatever you want. Once you fry it up, it's going to have the batter on it too. And it's just going to be exquisite out of this world delicious. It's just another option if you have that at your supermarket. Usually it's sold for like taco sandwiches or something like that in the States. Use whatever you can find, but you're definitely gonna wanna make this recipe. Fish is perfectly flaky. It's nice and firm because we salt cured it ahead of time. I think you guys are gonna love this dish. The recipe as always is on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com, as well as underneath this video in the description box down below. Let me know what you think in the comment section and thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yasa.